Have you ever dreamed about getting a Portugal Golden Visa? Imagine a life where you have the freedom to travel throughout the European Union without any restrictions. The Portugal Golden Visa program is a golden ticket to that dream, offering a multitude of benefits, such as visa-free travel within the EU, the right to live and work in Portugal, and potential for permanent residency or citizenship. It's no wonder why this program has become so attractive to travel enthusiasts worldwide. In this video, we'll peel back the layers of the Portugal Golden Visa, exploring its ins and outs, and revealing why it's such a coveted asset. We'll cover everything from eligibility criteria to the application process, required documents and even the associated fees. And don't miss out on our bonus tips and common mistakes to avoid for a successful visa application. Stay with us to get a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply for the Portugal Golden Visa. Before you get too excited, let's see if you qualify for the Portugal Golden Visa. Eligibility for this coveted visa hinges on a few crucial factors. Firstly, a minimum investment is required. This could be in real estate, a Portuguese business, or a donation to a public project. The amount varies, but it usually hovers around half a million euros. Secondly, you must maintain this investment for a period of five years. This means that you cannot sell off your property or divest from your business within this time frame. Lastly, there is a minimum stay requirement in Portugal. Though you don't need to relocate permanently, you must spend at least seven days in Portugal in your first year and 14 days in each subsequent two-year period. Meeting these criteria is the first step towards obtaining your golden visa. Now that you know if you're eligible, let's dive into the application process. Applying for the Portugal Golden Visa might seem daunting, but we're here to break it down for you. The first step in your journey to the Portugal Golden Visa is selecting the appropriate investment option. This could be a real estate investment, a capital transfer, or an investment in research activities. It's crucial to make a choice that aligns with your financial capability and long-term goals. Once you've made your decision, it's time to prepare your investment. This might involve purchasing property, transferring funds, or setting up your investment in research. It's a good idea to seek professional advice at this stage to ensure everything goes smoothly. With your investment ready, you'll need to apply for the Portugal Golden Visa online. The application requires various details, so make sure you have all your documents in order before you begin. You'll need to provide your personal information, details of your investment, and proof of clean criminal record. After submitting your application, you'll be asked to pay an application fee. This can be done online as well, and it's a crucial part of the process. Don't forget to keep a receipt of your payment as you'll need it later on. The next part of the process is the biometric data collection. You'll be asked to visit the SEF, Portuguese Immigration and Border Service office in Portugal for this. Here, your fingerprints and photos will be taken for your residence card. The application then goes into the review process. This can take anywhere from two to six months, depending on the volume of applications at the time. You'll be notified when your application is approved, and at this point, you'll need to pay the approval fee. Finally, once the fee is paid, your Golden Visa residence card will be issued. It's a thrilling moment when you receive it in the mail, knowing that you're one step closer to your dream of living in Portugal. With these steps, you're well on your way to getting your Portugal Golden Visa. Now, you must be wondering what documents you need to gather and how much this is going to cost you. Let's dive into the important bit, the documents. You'll need your passport or another valid travel document. Make sure it's in good shape and not expiring anytime soon. You'll also need proof of legal entry and stay in Portugal, so keep your boarding pass or any entry stamp safe. Next up is proof of health insurance. This can be international or Portuguese, but it must cover your entire stay. Also, you'll need to provide a criminal record certificate from your country of residence for the past year. It should be issued within 90 days of your application. Now comes the financial bit. You'll need to show proof of investment, such as a property title deed or a share certificate, depending on your chosen investment route. Fees, you ask? Well, there's a processing fee of 533 euros when you submit your application. Then a visa issuance fee of 5,147 euros once it's approved. Keep in mind, these fees are per family member. Lastly, keep some buffer for unexpected costs like notary, translation, and lawyer fees. 
These can add up, so it's best to be prepared. Preparing your documents and being aware of the costs upfront will help you avoid any surprises along the way. As we wrap up, here are some bonus tips and common mistakes you should avoid to ensure a successful visa application. First, consider hiring a local lawyer. They're well versed in the intricacies of the process and can provide invaluable guidance. Plus, they can act as your representative in Portugal, saving you from multiple trips. Second, make it a point to visit Portugal before making your investment. Experience the culture, explore the neighborhoods, and get a feel for the place. It's not just a smart move, but also a delightful one. Now, let's move on to the common mistakes. One of the most frequent errors is not maintaining the investment for the required period. It's not just about buying the property or making the investment, it's about holding on to it. The Golden Visa requires you to maintain your investment for a minimum of five years. So, think long term. Another common mistake is underestimating the processing times. While the Portuguese government aims to process applications within nine months, delays can happen. So, prepare for this and don't make any hasty decisions based on an expected visa approval date. Lastly, ensure your documents are in order. Incorrect or incomplete documentation can lead to delays or even rejection of your application. So double-check everything. With these tips and information, you are now ready to start your journey towards obtaining a Portugal Golden Visa. Remember, careful planning and preparation is the key to a successful application.